Hey everyone, welcome back to Amos Farm. I'm Diana and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys um, my new compost system that I'm going to be starting. Uh, we are not going for pretty. I got free pallets and I am going to be putting them together and redoing my compost. Now I've only been gardening for two years so I haven't been composting for that long either uh, but I have made some and it turned out quite well. I just need a bigger system uh, something that allows me to get one pile started, let that cook while I'm working on the next pile. I was originally going to do the three bin system um, where the middle bin would be just for extra stuff, but I've only had enough pallets to do two, so that's what we're going to work with. Um, you can find cheap or free pallets. You can look on Craigslist, uh, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, online local businesses um, but yeah I already have some compost already started so I'm gonna be starting my compost today I'm gonna be taking it from where I originally had it and adding it to here um, I also have some that is at the very bottom that's really composted that I want to share with you how it has turned out and like I said I am NOT a compost expert I've kind of like just going with the flow kind of compost you know you want your carbon the brown you want your nitrogen the green um, and you know a good mixture good layers you want to keep it uh, damp some people turn theirs some people don't I probably will um, I'll be keeping pallets along the front that way the dogs can't get into it um, but your basic your nitrogens consist of cardboards um, hay dry leaves shredded paper, toilet paper rolls, um, paper towel rolls, uh, your your green material, maybe veggie scraps, grass clippings that have not been treated with any fertilizer, tea bags, coffee grounds. Um, I really thank my mom for going out of her way and saving all of her coffee grounds. If you have any family members that are coffee drinkers, tea drinkers, ask them if maybe they could save a bag for you with all their coffee grounds or a bucket um, and you can pick up from them. Um, Eggshells, I add a lot of eggshells to mine because we do have laying hens. Um, but as I said, I am not a professional at this, but what we have done so far has worked. So we're gonna keep with that. Um, I. No, you could go all extravagant and look into exactly how it works. You can go on Pinterest and it will give you lots of links to look up, to research if you want to be more scientific about how it is done. But we're not doing that. We're doing cheap, we're doing ugly, and we are just making compost. And you will know if you need to add more or less of something if your pile starts to get really stinky you know you will know also i was very grateful to go to my mom's over the last few months of being at fall and the leaves are falling and i have collected bags and bags of leaves so i have plenty of those on hand but we're going to get started i'm going to go ahead and i'm probably going to make this my first side um, as you see i have made it easily accessible where I can push a wheelbarrow or uh, come through here and clean up with my um, weed eater during the summer when it gets tall and weedy and I can come in here and access my piles turn them if I need to but yeah it doesn't have to be complicated just get started the benefits of having a compost are excellent if you have a garden I definitely encourage you to look for some free pallets or maybe you want to do pretty and you want to make yours prettier you can do that too. Um, you can go as elaborate or as simple as you want but this is how I'm doing. I like simple. We don't plan on living here forever so I'm not going to make everything so fancy. I'm just going to do what will get us some nice compost. So let's get busy. I happen to have these L brackets on hand and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be placing them in the corners and it is going to hold the pallets together. I only have three right now but I plan on getting more so I can secure it along the bottoms as well but I will be placing screws um, 
in places where I don't need this type of bracket. But that's all there is to it. You don't need anything fancy. You know, you don't have to drive posts in the ground to hold them together. Um, just to have enough where the wind cannot blow it over or animals can't come in and get into your compost. You hear that? That's the guineas. Some people find that sound annoying. I actually like it. And there you go. Of course, I have to get a few more to secure the bottom so it doesn't move, but pretty much it is secure and it's not going anywhere. Some of the compost that I have already started I just took it from my old compost bin and we're starting the new ones so here we go Definitely gonna need lots more nitrogen. <laughs> this one's heavy. Here's what we have going on so far. As you see, I've already had the makings from my last one. It's got um, hay from the chickens, lots of tea bags, eggshells vegetable scraps, coffee grounds, so we have layered our carbon, then our nitrogen, then we'll just keep repeating that process and you know once we get to a good level I'll probably come in here and turn it. Once you get to a good height you want to call this pile done. You're gonna let this pile sit so either the fall garden or the next spring garden, you have a good solid pile of awesome compost to work with while your next side you are building over here. I mean, it's basic, it's simple. I can do it, you can do it. So I challenge you to start your own compost pile, compost bin. It doesn't even have to be in a bin. It could be in a pile somewhere. You just wanna make sure that you, if it's too dry, you wanna keep it damp which this is pretty damp here as you see I threw some potato peels just a little peels in there and they have sprouted and we were about to grow some potatoes <laughs> that tells you it's working if you're growing things out of your compost pile you're making good compost we were had the starts of some teeny tiny potatoes crazy so here is some of the compost that we have made. This is our old compost bin. Um, it's just some cement blocks. We started out with just a barrel, a heavy duty plastic barrel, and we would roll it and turn it. Um, then we moved on to this. And of course, it, it wasn't big enough either. So we've got some free pallets. We've made a free compost bin that we can make lots more of this beautiful compost. I plan on adding this very soon to my raised beds. Alrighty guys, as you can see, it's pretty simple to create your own compost bin or pile. Um, I'm not sure if I've left out anything, um, but be sure before you get started doing your own compost that you do some research on the things that you can and cannot add to your compost. Um, 
Pinterest is a very good source for links to follow and look up. You also can watch YouTube videos. It's simple, it's cheap, you can do it and your garden will love you for it and your vegetables and your fruit will be that much better. Um, your harvest will be much bigger. But like always guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll be seeing you again real soon. Until next time, y'all take care and have a fabulous weekend.